SMT Nation, what is up, good people? It's your boy, the SMT. All right, so this story is big. All right, we are totally counting on Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile to deliver big with C-Band, and this could potentially be game-changing uh, in a negative way, uh, to be more specific. All right, so the article here from lightreading.com, Mike Dano, the editorial director here, he gave us the story. This is great. Thank you for those updates, and we're excited to see what we have here. All right, this is big news. All right, Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile, and pretty much anybody who's got C-Band uh, spectrum licenses are very excited about the 5G potential with these licenses. Here's the problem. We could potentially have massive concerns with its operation, signal effectiveness, interference problems. This is critical. So, wow, this would be completely game-changing because C-Band generated tons of money, basically $100 billion if you include the actual Spectrum licenses that were auctioned, plus the clearing costs and the repack from the satellite operators. So why would Verizon spend like damn near $50 billion, AT&T $30 billion, and T-Mobile, I think about $10 billion, just to have that Spectrum be downgraded in its effectiveness due to interference in real world usage? So it seems that the issue here is that aerospace and airline industries are very concerned about potential interference that cr that's going to be created from wireless operations. Um, that's concerning because airlines, you know, that's a safety thing. OK, so we're talking about, you know, like disruptions to passenger and commercial flights. We're talking about critical helicopter operations specifically. I believe it's the radio altimeters in the aircraft that are the uh, concern here. Wireless industry peeps are rejecting these concerns, so that's important to note. They are saying there are no interference concerns. Clearly contradictory to the claim from the aerospace concerns there. Uh, missed approaches, delays, diversions, uh, flight cancellations, runway shutdowns. I mean, those are potentially the worst problems that could be created from this, according to the aerospace people citing you know radar problems and whatever else american airlines boeing lockheed martin all have been indicated as meeting with the fcc with these concerns and uh, they are claiming the need to retrofit their hardware with filters to prevent or reduce the interference so here's the things here's the thing about this story this spectrum generated so much money in auction because of its perceived value and the ability for it to be viewed as clean spectrum no interference no problems uh, no concerns. If that changes, I mean, the FCC has got huge problems on their hands. And this would not be the first time that the FCC has dropped the ball. They did this with 600 megahertz. We know about the interference issues there uh, with hospital equipment and stuff like that. And uh, the TV spectrum, we've seen issues with 2.5 gigahertz with radar and stuff like that. I've reported on that. And engineers just have to work around these problems but this spectrum generated a lot of money because they were trying to avoid the problems with it. It has a high perceived value. This changes everything if it is indeed the case. So I don't want to overreact. I don't want to underreact. I just want to report it and indicate to you guys that this could be something that requires a follow up. And we'll see what happens in the future. If we get some some new data, some new information, I'll definitely present it. And it's something I'm tracking very, very closely. Uh, what say you comment down in the comment section below what you think of this story about the potential risk. Again, you've got two groups of people saying very different things. The airline industry, the aerospace application saying there's interference. Wireless is saying, no, there isn't any. And they're dealing with the FCC on this. We'll see what happens. Uh, if it's your first time here, subscribe for more SMD content. Go ahead and turn on the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload. You find out when we do drop videos. Check out some of the links in the description box for all the things going on with the channel. Thank you so much for being here to watch, and uh, have a great rest of the day. Peace.